All right, so tonight I'm going to show you how to power an LED with 12 volts without burning it out. Uh, we're going to be using a resistor to do this, and I'm going to show you how to calculate this resistor value. Uh, there are two facts you need to know about your LED for this to work accurately. Is you need to know the VF voltage. On this package, it is 3.4 to 3.8, and the current that it consumes. So let's see here. This one here shows that... It is a 20 milliamp at 3.4 volts or 3.8 volts. So I can actually it has a working range between 3.4 and 3.8 at 20 milliamps. So I'm, we're going to find out where the 20 milliamps lies in this LED. I'm going to guess towards the lower end of the 3.4 volts. So what you can do is we can, if you have a variable power supply, you can do this. All right, so let's take a shot up here at the, the power supply here. I have the power supply set up for 3.3 volts. I'm gonna take my test leads here. Hook up the positive, hook up the negative. All right, so she's only drawing about 10 milliamps right now. Let's bump that up a little bit. All right, so there we go. There's our rated 20 milliamp rating that's on the package. So uh, between 3.3, 3.34, somewhere in that range. Now, if we go up to 3.8 volts, as it says we can on the package here, our current is increasing. And we're almost at, well, we are at 60 milliamps. And that is super bright. So we're going to back this back down to 3.4 volts. And we're going to work with these numbers. So we want 3.4 volts at 20 milliamps. All right, to do this, I'm going to go to the desktop here. Is we need to use Ohm's Law. All right, so what you gotta do is put in your input voltage. So we're gonna come down from 12 volts, not 3.4, because 3.4 will power this way, no issue. So we're gonna put 12 volts in here, and we're going to subtract the voltage of your LED. So that's subtract 3.4 volts, okay? So that now it's subtracting the, the, the forward voltage of the LED. So now we have 8.6 volts we'll work with. So we'll come over here to Ohm's Law, and we want to take energy, which is volts, and, sub, and divide it into the current that we're looking for. So that's 20 milliamps. So 8.6 divided by 0 0.020. You don't have to put the zero in there, but just for demonstration says we need about a 430 ohm resistor. All right, so let's go back to our test equipment here. On the bench here, I have a potentiometer so I can adjust where we want to be. Um, more than likely, you're going to want to put a fixed value resistor in. This is not typical that you would do this. but for demonstration purposes. So we have about 406 ohms here. Let's bring this up to about 430 or so, somewhere in there. We don't have to be super critical on this. All right, that's close enough. So now, Let's bring our supply up to 12 volts. We're about at 12 volts now. And now I'm going to put that variable resistor in series with the LED. Okay. 
positive, negative, negative. Okay, good. Don't mind all this other stuff. This is not part of the project. We're only working with this little section right here. All right, so we got this going here through the resistor. We've got a bad connection here. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's, we've got the LED is on now. Let's go up to the power supply, and there we go. We're running this LED at 12 volts at 20 milliamps. So there you go. That's how easy it is to calculate a dropper resistor for an LED. So let's see. So that's it. So I hope that helps you. And uh, let's get back to the face cam here. So yeah, like I said, you know, these two formulas are great. You can use them for almost everything. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have a formula that you have at your side. I would suggest you write these down or download it from the internet and print it up and put it on your wall so you can always use it as a reference when you're when you're stuck and uh yeah no that's that's how you do it so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh yeah we'll see you in the next one have a good night